Hello, welcome back. Okay. Uh, now I will continue with the chapter three, part five. Uh, net gateway. Okay. All right. So what is net gateway? It's a service provide. Uh, which provide network address translation service for server in a virtual private cloud (VPC) and enable server to share an EIP (elastic IP) to access the internet. So net gateway can be either public or private. So in this example, okay, in the graphic, this one, the, here you can see that, okay, uh, we have two VPC. So this is VPC one, okay, and we have VPC two over here, okay. Where in VPC one they have two subnet, which is subnet one with three ECS elastic cloud server, and they have another subnet two with only one ECS. Meanwhile, with VPC two have only one subnet, that is subnet three with one with only one ECS. Okay, between subnet one and subnet two, okay, it's been configured with either uh S net or D net. To communicate with the VPC two, okay. So they need to go through the private net gateway. So between uh, VPC one and VPC two to connect it to, uh, it been configured to uh, EIP, which is electric IP to to go through the internet, okay. Connection, okay. Using public net service. So between inside the VPC, okay, they just use private net gateway. So through the internet is public net gateway, okay. So it can be configured both, either private or public. Okay, next the so advantage of net gateway is it have a high performance in term of extra large net gateway, which can handle million of concurrent connection to only a single destination address and port. So this is a lot of connection, eh? Uh, in terms of security, instead of exposing the EIP of each server on public network, only multiple servers share the same EIP. And flexible deployment instance in different subnet or availability zone, okay, able to share the same public NAT, network address translation, gateway for internet access or the same private network gateway for communication with an on-premise data center or a remote VPC. So in terms of ease of use, the advantage is private net gateway allow for communication between your VPC without need to change existing network or IP address. Tak perlu nak tukar pun. Okay, it's very ease of use. Okay, it's very simple to configure. And the last one of course is reduced cost with multiple instances it can share the same EIP and the associated bandwidth resource for internet access. Okay, now when you learn about network gateways, then you need to know what is SNET and DNET. Because we will configure it when you use that. Okay, so source SNET refer to source network address translation, which is during that only the source address in packet is translated. Okay. Okay, this net mode apply to the scenario where private network users access the public network. So as you can see on the this one, okay, so so private to the internet, okay, uh, sorry, uh, public, uh, private to the internet lah, okay. Okay, now what is DNet? It stand for destination network address translation. Which only the destination address and port number in packet are translated. So, did it apply to the scenario where public network as user access private network as services? So, from this, you can see when the internet users for internet want to go to the private use DNet, but from the private, okay, uh, private area want to go to the internet, we use a S net source net okay okay so I can see here in term of uh, interface okay so when it go this is S net eh? this one is S net this one is D net so all this ECS server 
and we have 1.11 and 1.12 okay, it connected to 1 okay what EIP this is EIP which have a ETO dengan ETO 1 Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 which uh, private IP is 1.1 but the public one is 73.203 is connected to the internet ok so you use the SNET ok the start session is SNET but when it come back the traffic come back the data we use the DNET so use the destination so it's the same IP for the internet 1 and internet 0 and the same IP for the inside ECS but the translation we use DNet okay alright so in terms of net gateway architecture so this is example of public net gateway this is two example so you can see here a public net gateway enable cloud and on-premise server in a private network to share an EIP to access the internet or provide service accessible from the internet Okay, cloud server are ECS and BMS in a VPC. So, do you remember what is ECS? ECS stand for Elastic Cloud Server. And BMS is Bare Metal Server in a VPC. What is VPC? Virtual Private Cloud. So, on-premise server are server in on-premise data center that connect to a VPC through direct connect or virtual private network ok, you can use only either direct connect, DC short is DC or VPN so a public net gateway support up to 20 gigabit per second of bandwidth, so as you can see here, ok, let's say in this premise ok, they have uh, one VPC with uh, two different uh, region, ok, zone Eh, sorry, two different uh, availability zone, which is uh, zone 1 here, okay, which they have two subnets, subnet 1 and subnet 3. And for availability zone 2, have subnet 1, so, sorry, subnet 2 and subnet 4. So, subnet 3 communicate with subnet 4 and subnet 1 communicate with subnet 2. So, to go through the internet, it use the net gateway. So, which is the net gateway is bind to the internet IP, elastic IP, IP before go to the internet okay so this one we use snet okay so this is the gateway that need to be configured lah. so when you come back to inside of the uh, server the traffic come back to the server from the outside from the internet use a dnet rules okay okay so connection we can use vpn okay or we can use direct connect Okay, so the process for buying a net gateway. So, for public net gateway, okay, you need to buy a net gateway first. Okay, after you buy a net gateway inside the inside the cloud, it's called uh, cloud upper edge, then you need to add, okay, uh, rules, okay, SNET, source network addressation, translation rules to allow server in VPC in VPC to access the internet using a shared EIP ok so a lot uh, rules lah ok the third one you need to add a DNet rule to allow server in VPC to provide external services ok so to set up net gateway first remember you need to buy net gateway then you need to set up SNET rules then you need to set up DNet rules. So SNET allow from VPC to access internet using EIP. But at DNet allow server to VPC provide external services. So you must remember that. Okay. That this is how you configure by buying a net gateway. So when you buy a net gateway, you must specify it's first a VPC, subnet and the type. Okay, you want a small one or medium, large or extra large. Okay, for small, uh, company small is up. Okay, is good enough. Okay, check whether the default road, okay, of the VPC is in use by other gateway. If yes, then you need to add another road for the gateway you purchase or add the default road to a new road table that you will associate with the gateway so only one default road to one VPC 
Okay, so you can have uh, the same default code. Okay, to the same the same gateway lah. Okay. Alright, so you need to com to configure the net gateway. Make sure that you understand the topology of your uh, cloud. Okay, to the outside. Okay, for the snack rule configuration, okay, if your server are in a VPC and need to access the internet, then we select VPC. Okay, select VPC. If you on server, promise server access a VPC over direct connect or VPN connection, need to access the internet. So then we get, you need to select direct connect or connect atau cloud connect. Okay, this is the scenario that you need to choose lah. Okay, then you have to select the EIP. Okay, so the EIP actually you the use the BGP eh, BGP, BGP, um, uh, routing protocol lah. Okay, the net rules configuration. So when you config, when you already uh, configure the S net, then you need to configure the D net. So D net will allow server in VPC to share an IP, and EIP and provide services accessible from the internet from the internet you will go to the our server inside the cloud okay so direct connect of cloud connect uh, the net will allow server in an on-premise data center connected to a vpc through this two okay either direct connect vc or cloud connect cc okay so you need to choose lah which one okay so you need to put in the uh, outside port the ip address the inside port okay now this is the EIP okay so let's say the application scenario okay let's say you want to use SNET to access the public network so we have a public network net eh? so when the ECS in a VPC okay let's say cloud server in virtual private cloud need to access the public network and large number of requests are sent the net gateway can provide different number of connection to save EIP uh, resources and prevent the ECS IP addresses uh, from being exposed to public network. So based on the service plan, you can create multiple SNET rule to share EIP resources. Okay, so example like this one. Okay, they have one VPC with two different uh, availability zone, zone one and zone two. Okay, which each zone have one subnet. Okay, so it's connected to internet. Okay, using net gateway. So you configure the snet rule. So you go, you can then you can go to the internet. So you can see you can choose to have two different EIP here. Okay, EIP one or EIP two. Let's say if you want. Okay. All right. So application scenario. Let's say using the net to provide services for cloud host to the public network, which is public network net. Okay, it's the same as previous public network net. But this one we using SNET to access. This one we using the net to provide service to cloud. So when the cloud host in a VPC need to provide service for public service network, the DNet function of net gateway can be used. Okay, so you, the traffic want to go into the our VPC, uh, our ECS. Okay, then what we need to do is we need to configure DNet. Okay. So, the net is configured inside the net gateway lah. Okay. So, example like this, we mapping uh, the port. Okay, let's say the port 1, EIP 1, to uh, 10,000 and 1,000. Meanwhile, EIP 2, it map to all port. To the ESC 2. Okay. So, this one, what? Okay. Um, configure to ECS 1 and BMS. Okay, different port, port 2000 and port 200. Okay. Alright, so we finish our part 5, Network Gateway. Now we continue with uh, the last part. Okay, part 6. Okay, other services. Okay, other services, uh, um, more information about the DC and CC, which is the last... Just now we learned about direct connect and cloud connect, which we use in in DNet configuration. So what is direct connect? So it's allow you to establish a stable, high speed, low latency, secure dedicated network connection 
that connect your own premises data center to cloud hopper edge okay so direct connect allow you to maximize legacy it facilities and leverage cloud services to build a flexible scalable hybrid cloud computing environment okay meanwhile what is about cloud connect okay cloud connect allow you to connect virtual private cloud in different region okay in different region to allow instant in this vpc to communicate over a private network as they are within the same network okay so it connected by cloud connect so direct is connect on premise to apa is so as you can see here is different eh? the architecture is different as you can see here this is your data center on premise then you have uh, subscribe to a cloud vpc at vpc Correct the VPC and you want to connect between these two for the DNet you just need to use a uh, direct connect okay only have one data center okay so you need to configure this one is the gate net gateway so let's say you have a lot of promise let's say you have uh, one or two you have two uh, premises one is a uh, one is South China one is Hong Kong okay then you have a uh, for VPC in different region like say let's say Latin America, Hong Kong, East China, China and South China. So between the on-premise and uh, VPC in South China, this one we use uh, direct connect. But between all the VPC in different region, we use cloud connect. Okay, so it between the VPC in different region. Okay, so that's all for chapter 6. Okay, then we will continue after this is I will uh, upload the quiz for chapter uh, for chapter 6. Okay, before that, let's go to summary. So basically chapter 6 describe basic network knowledge and common network cloud services. So after you complete this course, you're able to understand the function of a network as well as how network cloud services work and where you can use these services. For example, a VPC is like the internal network used by enterprise. An application can provide internet accessible service using EIP. Okay, remember EIP is Elastic IP. Mastering this concept helps you better prepare for cloud regression of legacy system. Okay, then that's all for um okay this is a this is our abrasion okay that's for okay that's all okay then we will continue with other chapter four okay the chapter four will be provided by uh my click okay no anisa okay and the other steps uh, by Jack Lokman, chapter five and chapter six by uh Puan Izati so that's all stay tuned for next chapter thank you for uh watching this video bye bye